Hi, Rick Pedley here, PKSafety.com. Back here with Chris Quayle from DBI Sala, and we're once again looking at fall protection lanyards with a shock absorbing feature. We just looked at the Easy Stop 2, which uses a pack type. Now we're going to look at the Shockwave 2, a very, very popular lanyard that has an internal shock absorbing feature, so it doesn't uh, pop out of the pack, it's all internal to the lanyard. And what we're going to do here, of course, just as before, is drop this test weight, 220 pounds. And it's not dro dropping all that far, but the, the force that has to be dissipated is quite something. Chris? So again, what we're, what we're looking at here is, is the way that test weight reacts on the way down. Um, it'll be very similar to the shock pack style that we just, uh, that we just witnessed. And uh, the whole intent is to, to keep the forces on our body under 1,800 pounds, which is uh, the law that's called out by, uh, by OSHA. So here we go, let's take another look. One, two, three. Wow. Now, how long was this lanyard? Now, this lanyard here was a, a four-foot lanyard, um, and with, with the shock-absorbing components, it stretched out an additional three and a half feet. So that lanyard went from a, a four-foot lanyard to a seven and a half-foot lanyard. So again, when we're using a, a shock-absorbing lanyard, it's very important that we're making sure that we, that we have an appropriate amount of clearance yes. distance from our working surface to the next lower level so we don't end up breaking our ankles on the pavement. Yeah. You know, now, when it's uh, like the shockwave too, the, the here uh, this easy stop extended, and it's very obvious it's been used. And uh, you want to throw this away? It's done. Is there a similar fe feature on this type of lanyard? Yes, there is, Rick. Uh, and, and that's one of the tricky things about using, although it has many benefits um, to the, to the shockwave style lanyard. It is a little bit tricky to know whether or not something has gone through a fall. So we have a built-in impact indicator on the bottom of the lanyard that, that will rip away and red stitching will pop out to let you know in the event that something, uh, someone has gone through a fall or if something has happened to this and, lanyard. And then it needs to be discarded. Exactly right. Okay. But uh, very much reduced impact force is a big deal when you're falling. Uh, these things uh, it's not to be toyed with. Thank you very much.